So welcome to another edition of ACLU on the Hill. Joined today with our new Legislative and Policy Council, Lila Mahmood. Lila, can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to join the ACLU? Sure. So I am a former public defender. I was a public defender in Marion County, which is the county that is home to Indianapolis in Indiana, which is a very large city. Um, and then after my work in Indiana, I moved to Utah and I was briefly a public defender here at LDA. And then I made the transition into policy work with the ACLU. Wow, and what will your job be like as the Legislative and Policy Council uh, for the ACLU team? We're obviously at the Capitol today, so I imagine it has something to do with legislation and policy making. That's right. Um, it's my job to encourage representatives and senators to align with what the ACLU believes is the right position on certain bills and make sure that certain bills either get opposed or approved of in committee and just trying to make sure that the right things get passed out of this Capitol. Gotcha. And you had a chance to testify this week on a bill um, in front of a Senate committee hearing. Can you tell us about that bill? I believe it was SB 20, Juvenile Justice Amendments. That's right, yeah. SB 120, 120. Juvenile Justice Amendments, um, was a bill that modifies fees and fines in juvenile proceedings, both judicial and non-judicial proceedings. And the ACLU supports that bill, and luckily it passed out of committee with a favorable recommendation. So the reason the ACLU supports SB 120 is that it modifies fees and fines for juvenile proceedings, and it's important to lower the fees and fines or eliminate the fees and fines because we need to highlight that judges have broad discretion in applying the right tools to rehabilitate juveniles other than fees and fines. And this can include community service, education classes, treatment. Um, they have lots of options that they can use other than fees and fines to try and rehabilitate Utah youth. Gotcha. Now, what happened? You testified for in, uh, in favor of this bill on the committee. How did it turn out? It was favorably, favorably passed out of committee. Great. So it's on to the full Senate floor for consideration, a bill that will continue to follow as it moves through the legislative process. And I know we'll be checking back in with you as well about this bill and others that you're following. So thank you for your time, Lila. Great. Thank you, Jason.